Hello and welcome to a special edition of the Cobros podcast. It's the the very last episode of uh, 2022, but you're hearing it in 2023. Get used to it. You future. Yeah, we're like a time capsule for you guys. Yeah, yeah. So, so what significant events can we carry over an audio version to 2023? Kings light the beam. Forever kings, and always. Yes, the Kings are fucking doing good in basketball. That's I'll take it. Raiders. Niners going ahead and bench fucking Derek Carr. Niners are going to win by at least 60. So yeah. that's going to be neat. Yeah. Niners going to the playoffs? Yeah. Uh huh. They won the they division. Clinched. Right, no, that's cap for my weapon. Seed, right? Two or three. Two games left. Greta my lens cap is a perfect coaster. <laughs> nice. Nice. The hard hitting Discord conversations. Yeah. Discord is sponsored by Mountain Dew because they don't get rid of their logo. So it's good to know. <laughs> it's good to know. Who's here, David? Uh, well, who do we got today? We got Colton. Oh, Cyrus. That's me. Barn door. I think I might be in relation to that person. Aha. Uh-huh. And Oscar. Daddy. And of course, myself. David and today we're doing our last episode of 2022 which is uh kind of weird to think about uh that went fast as it always fucking does yeah dude I don't even, I'm still stuck in 2020 I don't even realize we're ending 2022 that's how I fucking start to feel every once in a while too is like <laughs> where did 2020 where did 2019 go not that I miss it whatsoever don't get me wrong but I don't remember most of it I don't know about you guys seems like all of a just a you spend inside every day and you just kind of <laughs> all the days blended together yep. yeah pretty much yeah stop counting after 2010 <laughs> <laughs> You're a little bit behind like, but it's all right like it just felt like you have these memories and you know what happened that year you just don't remember when they happened because there was no like significance of the days because everybody was just at home yeah yeah there was no differentiation of anything it was all just the same shit every single day in me april to june was the same month like it could have been a 90 day month and it was the same shit yeah straight up <laughs> i'll have like a permanent outline of my body on my bed from me just laying in it <laughs> it's like a murder scene where like someone just draws me in chalk but it's just my bed oh hell yeah fucking oh, i said the curse i said a curse word oh dear, sorry. It's okay we're Sick, like God. two minutes into it we're good we're good yeah now we're gonna get demonetized right, run it again just reset the whole episode please <laughs> hyperventilate freak out everybody panic yeah re- youtube is rolling out some new policies uh they didn't really tell anybody about it it was up to other creators to inform the masses from what, what? i was able to understand yeah they basically rolled out a new demonetization category or oh, not category, boy. but I, for lack of better they term. They modified their algorithm. Yeah, they modified their algorithm to just be much more fucking... Uh, thank you guys for <laughs> making butts out of your chins. <laughs> We're on Discord too, and they're, Cyrus and Brandon me. are making <laughs> butt cracks out of their chins, Beautiful. and it's very distracting. <laughs> yeah, that was it's a nice butt. It was a nice butt. Uh, yeah. Anyways... <laughs> yeah. So why was it? Why was the creator's job to do this? Is it not YouTube's job to inform? YouTube them doesn't care. Users? Didn't want to tell YouTube, anyone about it. YouTube did put it in their patch notes. Okay, fair enough. That is that is how these creators have found out about it. But they're not like sending out mass emails to people saying, "Hey, we're changing our algorithm, so you better fix your shit to be more in line with our EULA." Yeah. Because what they're doing, mm-hmm. they're modifying their algorithm to actually fit their eula now where it's been just a very wide open thing for all these years Mm -hmm. and so now they're to the point where they're they have the technology where they can make the ai that actually listens to the videos and demonetizes them based on data okay like how many quote-unquote dislikes it gets during the video no they they're their AI is actually listening to the audio in your video and watching the video, looking for things that they have a problem with, i.e. swearing in the first X number of minutes or violent content or um, risque material, like stuff like that. They're checking for all of that stuff with computer programs. Just like with my my video getting flagged on Facebook for FIFA Qatar, I still haven't heard anything from that. That's whack. And that was before Christmas. 
Yeah. So, so then, what's YouTube's kid for then? What What is that? It's just it's the fucking. I think, they, they I think the biggest yeah. thing of it is like because a lot of children use YouTube, obviously. And right. they don't want kids to just click on a video and then have it just be a oh, fucking shit bitch right off the bat, you know? Because that that actually has been a problem too. Kids' channels getting away with just absurd Lots like m- stuff. Yeah, yeah, absurd Word fucking shit. literally whatever. Stuff. Literally whatever. Well said, Cyrus. That's yeah. the other thing too is YouTube Kids just makes it so YouTube curates stuff that is flagged as kids content or non-mature content right. to their feeds. But there's plenty of people that don't have their streams or their videos flagged as mature. Yeah. Um because of monetization reasons. If YouTube was better about their stuff and monetizing and getting people sponsorships and stuff then um people would be able to mark their channels as mature without having the worry of being blocked from everybody but if you flag your channel as mature you're basically saying hey this is mature content and youtube's algorithm automatically just says okay well we're not gonna fit like fish you out to anybody yeah yeah that's th- you know i've thought about that a lot with like how our videos get out to people too it makes me want to keep the first couple of minutes a little bit cleaner, especially now. And it makes me wonder how many of our videos actually get out to, to an extent, you know? We can always check uh, our analytics, tell us reach and impressions. So impressions yeah. will tell you how many times our videos popped onto somebody's page, whether it be like on the sidebar of a video or a front page to wow. click on something. Right. Um, I feel like it's probably gone up a bit now that those reels yeah. are out. The real skyrocketed check out, it. Check out the shorts either. The shorts are fucking hilarious. The shorts are blowing up, so we're gonna yeah. post more shorts. So if you if you're subscribed because you we'll watch our shorts, shorts. Post some of my shorts. We're, we're, we're pushing we're pushing shorts. The reason for shorts and Instagram reels and stuff like that to be so popular is because of um short form content videos. There's people that are literally just sitting on their phone scrolling through reels mm. all day long. Like we're yeah. talking eight to twelve hours. No. Like they're sitting there scrolling through them, <laughs> Not and that you bad. hit TikTok. You hit the bottom of your recommended stuff, and so it just starts pulling things from everywhere and throwing it at you if it's in a similar category, i.e., yeah. technology, music, video, television. Right. So you delve down the rabbit hole. Right yep. Yeah. Jeez. Another, oh, another, another way to build. Um, community is using things like reddit um i do like what youtube did on mobile with the new uh channel pages they've now split actual videos with shorts so they're in two separate tabs now my problem before with shorts is it would throw it in with all your other content and it just to me that didn't make sense right because you have a bunch of shorts content with actual content that you'd post on youtube and now that they've differentiated the two and you can click on two separate tabs it gives the user more options to be like, I just want to watch the shorts. Or I just want to watch the content that people are uploading. Right. See, I've had that since before they announced it. Like, I think I'm enrolled in some beta YouTube app program on my phone because like I've had the shorts tab yeah. forever. Okay. Hmm. Because you're in yeah. Oregon. Um, well, I've had the shorts tab, but it's when you go to an actual channel page, you can like scroll. Oh. And you can actually choose which one you want to do because now it has like video. It's the home videos, shorts, and then now we can put up community posts so that we can let people know what we're doing. Okay. And it pops yeah, up in the subscription feed. I stay current on all the channels I follow, so I usually never end up inside of a channel page. Like mm-hmm. all of my stuff that I'm watching is either from the shorts reels tab or the just scrolling through the videos. I, what I do is, is I subscribe to somebody so that when, you know, they upload a new video, I'm aware, but like, I've been watching the needle drop videos for five years now. I have, I've never been subscribed to him. I just know to go to his channel and watch everything that he's uploaded in the past yeah. week. Yeah. And there's some creators I do that. I just look them up. Cause I'm like, I know I'm coming back to watch your videos. Right. I have found out though, that like, there'll be a couple, there were a couple of creators where like I was watching all their content, but I never mm-hmm. got around to subscribing it. And then they eventually just disappeared out of my feed. Yeah. And right. so it's like, I don't even remember who it is anymore. Fucking it's like disappointing. You like the videos and then they'll stay in your liked whatever. 
Yeah. yeah. That playlist it makes you. Yeah. I try to have a playlist that I make that I can throw videos that I want to find later into. Right. Because I did that recently where there was a video. It was uh, this guy talking about how college is a scam, and it was one of the funniest videos I ever saw. I lost it for six months, couldn't find it. Damn. And then I threw it to like four different playlists so that I would just come across it again when I did eventually refine it again. Because I didn't know who uploaded it. I don't remember what the video was called. And it's got like 50,000 views, so it's not wildly popular. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't pop up at the top of searches. I don't know. Just like I, I, my channels. I have one of those plays mm -hmm. too, but I, <clears throat> I haven't fucking delved in there in a minute. I just have a giant... This is accumulating stuff I just liked. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and then I have like four different YouTube channels on my phone. Like I have <laughs> my main account that I use all the time. Then I have the backup Google account, which is tied to the Cobb Bros. And then when I signed up for the Cobb Bros email for like the inquiries and shit like that, it gave me another YouTube account. So, oh, cool. <laughs> so, so wait, the the, the channel has account. three YouTube accounts linked to it. Um, no, I think I looked at David's manager. I think me and David are the only ones with access to the YouTube channel at the moment. Mm. I, yeah. I haven't logged into it, so. That's fine. Into it. The emails and accounts thing with YouTube and all those things is a really convoluted, complicated mess. Because, like, yeah. I have multiple accounts, but only one account that I use, but both accounts show up, but only one has videos, and... The other one show like one shows up as what the channel, mm. like what my channel was, and then but I'm using this. It, it is it's such a confusing mess. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a pain. And even if you start like right from scratch and just make a brand new everything, like and it's all unique, you still end up running into a nightmare of trying to get all of your things to have the same email address and the same linked up accounts yeah um google does a pretty good job of keeping all your accounts together the problem is is using google all the time yeah for some websites like uh where i go to shops and stuff like that i use the google account because it's already got my credit card info so i can just log in buy something real quick my favorite websites are the websites that use amazon pay so it just links to your amazon and I hate typing in credit card numbers. It's fucking stupid. I love uh, apps that let you just take a picture of your card <laughs> so I can send it to some someone. Someone's yeah. got it. <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, like I had fraudulent AliExpress um, charges on my account like three years ago, and it was awful. <laughs> Call Wells Fargo. They're like, oh, here's a new card. Yeah. Cool. Fucking A. Is it because they take pictures of it? They're like, yeah. I was like, yeah, that's probably why. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Yeah, that's a that's a rough one. Um, I try to use PayPal whenever I buy stuff online. We have Galaxy Ultra S twenty twos, right? Yeah, they have they have the um, card swipers built into the phone, and there's some uh, banking apps that let you just tap your card to your phone to get your information. What? Yep. Yeah. Well, so it's awesome. Like without without doxing myself because my numbers are on the back of my card. Yep. So the cards like this, where the numbers aren't on the front. Mm -hmm. typically have that symbol on the back of them. Got your info. You're fucked. That means that's a... <laughs> your card has NFC built into it. So, you, like, gas pumps and stuff that have the reader on them, you can just touch the card to it. You don't even have to put it into the machine. So gross sliding my card into a gas station machine. Amen to the, that. Our, our uh, Think tribe, the our, like the casino <laughs> gas station out here, they have the tap to pay on the mm -hmm. pumps yeah okay yeah those Which that that yeah. eliminates you being able to get skimmed yeah yeah that, that is true that shit is sketch dude how they can just slide it over the top and then it's just yep. a fraudulent reader entirely and those those fraud read like the ones that are in gas stations and stuff like that where you've seen them like on the tiktoks and things like that um those ones will steal your data from a contactless pay to. Damn. The, you pay with cash? the plus side to contactless pay, though, is I do believe it goes through one extra layer of encryption. So they're not getting your actual credit card number. 
Okay. We need to get I, used to the idea of throwing coins at people again. I think somebody <laughs> noticed something. D- David, did, David, did you just notice something? Yeah. Yeah, Oscar's not okay. here. No. Oh. But that's not the first time. It's been like four times. Mm-hmm. Oh. Both that's of weird. He noticed. He finally noticed. He fucking <laughs> Um, for the uninitiated, yeah, for the uninitiated, since we're on Discord, uh, David left for a minute, and I was like, what if I just, fucking Brandon, what if I just kept switching hats during the podcast? (laughs) Brandon's been doing it, too. That's, I think that's why, David, you actually noticed, Yeah, Brandon has been doing it, too. I put on, like, five different beanies, and I put on two Raiders ones in a row, just to try and throw David off, but Brandon (laughs) kept getting more obnoxious with his hats. (laughs) I only wore two as well, but I just I kept doing stupid shit over my headset. I'll keep doing it, so. I'm down. It's nice. Okay. Yeah, check cool. out our uh, Discord version. It'll be down in the comments, or it'll be on this video. I haven't decided yet. You, you, okay. you may want to censor whatever timestamp that was just now. Oh, I got you. <laughs> yep. Wait. All good. We'll write it down. Like, He's going to write it down. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty obvious, but... Yeah. Um, so, other things we got going on. We got some new games we've been playing. Uh, yep. I dived into God of War on the PC. That's pretty rad. I know, Barn Door, you're doing the same thing. So good. So good. So I beat good. that God of War a while ago on PS4. <laughs> Did you? Okay. It's a great game. Fucking A. I'm really enjoying it so far. Um, yeah, I, I think it's just a beautiful game. And Barndor, you have more to say than I do. If you want any oh. input, it's <laughs> just, it's one of those games that everyone like honestly should play it. It's just great. Yeah, and I've been watching um a playthrough of the second game, Ragnarok, and just seeing all this stuff that's happening in that game, and it's going back to the same places from the first one, and like how it all ends up tying together into the second. I'm like, oh my god. Gorgeous. It's just an amazing story. Yeah. For sure. For sure. Um, well, on the other hand, we have Deathloop. It's a little older one, but Cyrus, you've been making some progress on that one. Finally beat it, you know? Yeah. Hell yeah. I'm, going for all, I'm, do, I'm, I'm doing a mad dash to get all the achievements, but I thought the ending was pretty cool. Yeah, that's what you were saying. Um, mm-hmm. Pretty in-depth uh, game works altogether. Yeah. Pretty, not I think it's made very nice. But... Yeah, but I nice. I hate the Juliana mechanic. I wish I could just shut her off entirely. So who's that? Um, so you know how in like Dark Souls s games and the new Sniper elites, you can have somebody invade your game and try and kill you before you complete your objective. Yeah. Yeah. So Deathloop has the exact same thing, but my my gripe with Deathloop is that if somebody annihilates you and you lose all your health, you have to start the day over and you lose all your shit. So if you've collected a bunch of stuff and you get to the end of a day um, and you just keep getting murked by Juliana because when she appears on the map, it locks the exit. You have to go do an objective to open the exit. So you can't just turn around and leave. Oh, shit. And I've had once or twice where somebody murked me and I'm like, okay, turning it to single player so I can fight the computer because this is bullshit. Right. I'm like, I'm just trying to complete the game. Like, I I get if somebody is like a real big fan of the game, they want to play it over and over again. They want to get a bunch of collectibles done um, and really discover the game and then also level up their character playing online. That's fine. That's not for me, though. Yeah. I wish I just wish that that one thing I could shut off. Right. Because in the options menu, you can turn on one shot kills. You can one shot everyone in the game and you can turn on infinite loops so that you don't ever lose your stuff. You can also increase the rarity to maximum. So that you can oh, get wow. the max gear right at the start of the game. Holy crap. And it doesn't void achievements. I ended up beating the game first, and then I turned all that stuff on to get achievements afterwards. <laughs> you fucking animal. Yeah. <laughs> so no, I beat the game cool. legit, and then I started messing with it. But it's like in the accessibility, so like for people that just want a custom experience, they yeah. have that option. Mm-hmm. I like it when games do that. Yeah. Give me the option. It, it's just nice. It's it's a very nice accessibility option because uh, it'd be nice for games like Madden 23 to have that, wouldn't it, Cyrus? Yeah, it'd be perfect. <laughs> um, oh, God. Uh, <laughs> what else do we got going? 
I beat Horizon Zero Dawn finally. I finally sat down and played it all the way through. About 70 hours worth of gameplay. Um, okay. I only have four achievements left in it. Um, one is beat the game on any difficulty on New Game Plus. Um, one of them is beat it on Ultra Hard on New Game Plus. The other one's a collectible I just didn't bother doing. And the fourth one's the Platinum Trophy for beating the game complete. Or getting all the other trophies. Gotcha. Fucking but hair. um, it's it's a really good game. The story is absolutely phenomenal. Um, The ending brought me to tears. For sure. Good ending. Um, it's a great ending. Uh, If anybody's played God of War and hasn't played Horizon Zero Dawn, it is it is a very similar style of game where you have the whole aspect of having to like climb up obstacles, solve small puzzles. Um, the only difference is instead of being like the God of war with like chain swords and spells, you have a spear and bows and arrows and like trap weapons. And you're hunting gigantic metal mechanized dinosaurs. Hmm. And people forget sick. like, that game definitely got overshadowed because it came out the same week as Breath of the Wild. Yes. Which sucked because it's a really good game, but everybody's like, oh, let's go out and get a Switch. That was the talk of the town. And right. the other thing was is Andromeda came out that uh, same month and everybody yep. was dogpiling on Andromeda. So it was either you were playing Breath of the Wild or dogpiling on Andromeda. And for, for uh, Zero Dawn just kind of got pushed to the side. Yep. Yeah. And like that's that's... They've changed some stuff in the new one, the Forbidden West, which I just started playing. Um, they've changed some things in it. I can tell to try to bring more people into it that they should have just left the same and just marketed the game more because the the some of the changes they made kind of bothered me. Like in the new one, there's a grappling hook system and like multi-directional um, jumping. So instead of just like climbing up an obstacle wall and like having to rotate around it, you actually have to like look behind you and jump behind you or jump way out of the way to the left or the right. And they changed the way uh, her focus in the game works. The focus is basically the the device that she wears on her head all the time that gives her like a HUD. Yeah. Um they changed the way it works in the second one. So instead of like just pressing the right stick to pull it up right stick clicking pulses it you have to hold the stick to pull up the scanner tool part of it and it makes it a little clunkier but the zero dawn was absolutely phenomenal and the dlc was also phenomenal that's good crazy all right i highly recommend anybody play it, and it is available on steam now yeah it's nice to have the playstation games coming to steam honestly mm -hmm. i'm enjoying that I grew up uh, on PlayStation, so sequel. those are those are all my, you know, I've I've I well not God of War. I've never played any of the God of Wars, but all well, the other PlayStation games. But all of the God of Wars are fantastic. Every yeah. fucking one of them. The ones on the PSP were kind of eh, the PSP and the Vita, but the the console ones were all great. That's good. Because I, I had a, I went from Super Nintendo to PS2, and then PS2 to 360. <laughs> They put the uh, PS Vita ones on, or not PS Vita, the PSP ones on PlayStation 3. Yep. If you get the uh, collection disc. Okay. I have it. That's I sick. Borrow it. I think they have a full collection available even on the PlayStation Store now for all of the God of War games. For sure. Damn. Because I, I have PlayStation Plus, I just haven't looked in a minute. See what it's about. Uh, anybody else been playing anything? Brandon, what's been your go-to game this past week? God of War. Besides God of War, have you played oh, anything else? God of War. Yeah, um, mm, that's a good question. Um, I was playing. I've been playing Axis and Allies a good bit again. Mm -hmm. yeah. That one's been that fun. One's always, that's always a good time. And then, uh, I think on Xbox. Yeah, the only thing I've been playing recently on Xbox is like uh, Lego Star Wars and Assassin's Creed Origins still. Because I like to play massive games and never fucking beat them. Hell yeah. yeah. <laughs> Oscar, what you been playing? entire library is he's on the phone. Games. Yeah, he's on the phone. I was looking for some silence. Just. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> 
You can <laughs> see what he's there. doing. He's wandering around his kitchen on the phone. There's a big blur on the screen. How do we know? Patches, <laughs> patches back there. Cat got huge. Yep. Um, he stepped over the cat. Hurdle that bitch. <laughs> There's like a handful of games on my Xbox that I've actually beaten. The rest are just like... Oh, he's I back! He's back! Right. He's back! We can get his opinion! I've been here the whole time! Yeah! Mm -hmm. Oscar, what have you been YouTube. playing? Oscar, YouTube. what games have you been playing? Uh, Persona 5! Persona 5? Persona Let's 5. hear it. Uh, I'm fucking... I'm close to the end. The, 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 like the, one of the main premises of the game is that it's a flashback. And okay. I'm at the point where I caught up to the flashback and I'm moving past it. Mm -hmm. uh, it's 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 fucking great. The story, I when I first played it, I didn't realize it was rated M for mature. I thought it was like a teen game, but then I was like, I was not playing through it. I would see why it's rated M because the story as you go through, there's like some fucking crazy shit that goes down. Yeah, I'm like, holy shit! Like, you know <laughs> what I mean? It's, it's really sure. cool. I love the music. The music is is like a weird jazz, like Japanese jazz funk vibe. I fucking love it. No oh, cowboy and, uh, bebop. Yeah, exactly. It's like yeah, oh, okay. it has a like cowboy bebop. Like just like. Yeah. Yeah, as you as you uh, like boot up the game, it does like a like a like a music video real quick before you start, and like that I listen to it every time and watch it because it's so good. Yeah, and for and, anybody uh, that's a fan of Persona Five, Soul Hackers Two is in the same universe. Mm -hmm. But uh, I believe it's of the same people, mm. Atlas or whatever. Yeah, it's Atlas, yeah. I believe. It's good, it's good game, good game. It's a JRPG. Mm -hmm. It might not be everyone's fancy, but I mean, it tickles my fancy. Well, we got Good. a Tom McCart coming up this next month on Game Pass. We yeah, I've seen someone playing that. What is that? Um, if you haven't seen the trailers, like people still don't really get what the game's about. I didn't hear what you said. The name of the game was. Oh, it's called Atomic Heart. Oh, if you've seen trailers yeah, for yeah, it. yeah, yeah, yeah. Is it like a Death Stranding thing where they're not going to show anything until like, it airs or whatever? It it looks like Metro meets Outer or Outer Worlds. Oh, but it's also kind of silly. That's what the trailers are putting off. So, Borderlands. Sure. The synopsis <laughs> is, in a mad and sublime <laughs> utopian world, take part in explosive encounters, adapt your fighting style to each opponent, use your environment and upgrade your equipment to fulfill your mission. If you want to reach the truth, you'll have to pay in blood. Hmm. Pay in blood. You'll pay in blood. Um, I'm looking at the Game Pass description. Let's see. That's what you were just looking at. That's what I was reading, yeah. Yeah, I googled it and it had a different synopsis. <laughs> when is uh, oh. coming to Game Pass? Uh, uh, next month. I think it's mid-January. It'll tell it me. Looks it's like, right. It looks February 21st. Like it's basically Ooh. Bioshock. Because mm -hmm. okay. his, his left arm is shooting electricity, his right arm shooting a gun. Yep. Um, yeah, so... Some of the game features that it shows off on the website is it says a utopian world, both mad and sublime. Welcome to a utopian world of wonders and perfection in which humans live in harmony with their loyal and fervent robots. Well, that's how it used to be. Uh, using the combat abilities granted by your experimental power glove, your arsenal of blades and cutting edge weaponry, fight for your life in explosive and frenetic encounters. Blast giant machines and mutants. The unstoppable course of technology along with secret experiments have brought rise to mutant creatures, terrifying machines, and super-powered robots all suddenly rebelling against their creators. Hmm. It, he's using the Nintendo Power Glove to fight mutants and shit? That's right. Yeah. Sure. Yeah, fucking yeah. February 20th. the fucking Konami the, uh, in his hand. Yeah, but it's pretty funny because the, the trailers are all just like hack and slash of to him just fucking these robots up. <laughs> it's like an old-school God of War, like mm -hmm. hack and slash thing. Oh, it's first-person like, shooter. The vibe oh. I got is Bioshock. Like it oh, looks bi like okay. Bioshock. Mm -hmm. Gorier Bioshock. Hey, are we getting a Bioshock movie soon? Uh, I'm not sure. I heard we're getting a new game. There, I, yeah. I was actually just looking it up right now. They showed off a a new game at the Game Awards, and it's from the creators of the people that made Bioshock. Oh, okay. and they, Judas. It's called Judas. Judas. Oh, okay, that's right. And, it looked insane, and you could see when she gets her powers in her left hand, it's they're plasmids, really. Okay. Um, I think if I can play those, man. Let me see. I'm going to see if there's a uh, description on it. I Ooh, never, Steam. I never beat any of them, but I was playing mm -hmm. through the most recent Bioshock, and it started giving me mad headaches. Mm -hmm. The camera the shaking. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah, infinite. It was giving yeah. me mad migraines. Like I got pretty far through it, and then near the, I think I'm near the end of the game, and every time I'd sit down to play it, it just started giving me a migraine. I'll play one with this, anybody. Let me ask this, Colton. Uh, who'd you throw the baseball at? Hmm? <laughs> who'd you throw the baseball at? Beginning of the infinite. Rest... Oh, it's like uh, when you first get to the city. The and carnival. The, it's the carnival. Carney guy hands you the baseball, and there's like a couple, an interracial couple on stage. And the, you have the option of either throwing it at the interracial couple or at the Carney guy. I don't recall that scene at all. I think I threw it into the crowd or something. <laughs> you, have to, you have to throw it at the carny guy or the interracial couple. You're only able to do one or the other. Yeah, yeah. I, I it, was, it was really early on in the game. It was like one of the first things you do. I know what you're the, talking the about. First, yeah, like the beginning of the game. Things that I remember is like the the coin flip between the brother and the sister, right? Or the the beings that are the same person through mm-hmm. whatever. Um, Beans, what the fuck? I remember that, and then I remember like wandering around the town. I don't remember the the interracial couple carny thing, but I probably threw it at the carny. It was just before shit kicked off in the game when you get the sky hook and yeah, you, you slit the officer's throat with it. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I remember yeah, that. It's part. it's right when the action <laughs> kicked off. If you throw it at the carny guy, he catches your hand or something. And Someone they, catches they your, like hand. your hand. It doesn't matter who you throw it at. It's a scripted event where he catches your hand and goes, "You have the number." Oh, <laughs> the number right. makes you right. shithead. That vaguely rings a bell, but I don't. I might have just sat there. Well, mm-hmm. they have to like see the number on your hand because that triggers the event of you running and getting shot at by everyone and finding your yeah see i don't i don't remember any of that like i remember the part where you get the the claw thing and slice the dude's neck and then right. jump on the rail and start sliding right. away Either i remember way. that but i don't i don't remember anything leading up to that <laughs> <laughs> fucking Great, yeah, it, okay. it was a while ago that i played it yeah yeah it was it was, it was from the beginning so it was just it's just and I've yeah, I've right. played that game split up over like between when it came out and <laughs> maybe three years ago. Brandon, I had the same idea, dude. <laughs> oh my god! Damn I had no it. idea if it worked because I can't see my screen. <laughs> yeah, it worked. It worked. <laughs> Brandon shut off his webcam yeah. and then turned it back on, and he was covered head to toe in hoodies. That was pretty good. <laughs> oh Fucking oh my god! That was pretty good. I like that. Um, match respect. <laughs> they can't see this, guys. They can't see what's happening. No, David's recording the Discord. Yeah, yeah that's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> we could just post this video on YouTube. It's like, up oh to no, they're recording the Discord, and I don't have a background filter on. <laughs> we don't have to have background for this one. We could just have us. Yeah, I'm down. It is what it is. And that's all our Spotify listeners that have no idea what's going on. Yeah, check us out on YouTube if you guys are listening from Spotify. That's a Spotify or Amazon. Users. Real MVPs. Yeah. Audible. Audible, yeah. We're on Audible. We're, I mean, We're on, on Audible, Audible yeah. yeah. yeah are you kidding <laughs> Tell your me? friends. Can anybody actually listen to us on Audible is the next question. Yes. Doesn't matter. We're on Audible. Uh, we do <laughs> We do have at least one from Audible. That is confirmed. Cool. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Shout out to Audible. Hell Shout yeah. out to the one person that listens to us on Audible. Send us an email. We'll send you a shirt. Yeah. Thanks, we homie. shirts? Yeah. We should. Uh, we will. We will I then. You, we'll Cyrus says we magnet. will. The power is in the Cobros to get shirts. That's uh-huh. going to be Give exciting. Give and a credit card number, and we'll send you one magnet. <laughs> <laughs> Your finger one was blurred. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's blurred. What? Yeah, I don't know. That's goofy. That's fun. It's gone. Is it because it's thinking it's the. That, that's not blurred. <laughs> cool. what the fuck? That's fucking funny. <laughs> Discord's weird, man. Discord's doing whatever it feels like. It's like... So are you. <laughs> <laughs> Look at you. <laughs> oh, like fuck. fucking easy <laughs> client over here. I'll just keep backing up. Hold up. Oh, my God. 
It's like he's jumping into another like dimension and jumping back out. Holy shit. <laughs> hey, I have that one. Nice. Cool hat. <laughs> it is a cool hat. Uh-oh. It was a Raiders 2020 hat. Yeah. Yeah, we don't talk about them right now. The Why? shit's so heavy. It's oh, because your favorite team. Eric Carr for the it... rest of the season. Not happy. Yeah. What for? Nothing. Because the coach is an idiot. They don't want to pay him next year, so they're benching him. It's totally disrespectful because he has he you know he's only played for us for nine years. He could have asked for a trade and went literally out anywhere of else. College yeah. and went to play exclusively for the Raiders and talked he so didn't highly. Want to go anywhere else and always wanted to be in the Raiders. Like, yep. Yeah, the franchise has been dog shit, and we will continue to be dog shit. And the only the lone bright spot was Derek Carr because at least he was a consistent quarterback and he was dedicated to the franchise. Oh yeah, right. Not so anymore. the Raiders, yeah, the Raiders made a business decision because if he gets hurt in these final two games, they have to guarantee his contract next year. The Raiders still have a playoff shot. You know, all we got to do is win our games and hope a couple other things happen. But they're sitting Derek Carr because they're basically giving up on the season and they don't want to pay him. Ridiculous. And as a business move, it makes sense. But like I said, this man has dedicated himself to this team, and this is how we're going to send him off. It's totally disrespectful. Yeah, you know. just shitting on his lap and say, hey, have a good year. He yeah. also got Devonte Adams to sign a huge contract with the Raiders, you know, with the promise to play with Derek Carr and shit like that. Yeah, and they his, in college. They're buddies. Yeah, so in week 17, Devonte Adams is going to catch passes from Jarrett fucking Stidham. Like, you he know, definitely laugh. didn't want to. What a fucking last yeah, night. Jarrett Stidham. Yeah. Yeah, he's also wearing Carson Palmer's number, and that man did absolutely fucking nothing for this team. <laughs> number th three is a bad number. Nathan Peterman wore that number. Nathan <laughs> Peterman. Nathan Peterman, in his rookie year, started a game for the Buffalo Bills. So what happened was is they were making a playoff push, and they were unhappy with Tyrod Taylor as a starter. So they uh, went, wait, you know what? Wait, wait, his name's Tyrod? Tyrod Taylor. He, Incredible. Yeah. So what happened was is they were unhappy with his play, so they're like, we're benching you and putting in the rookie Peterman. Nathan Peterman threw five picks in the first half of that game, and he got benched at halftime. And they put back in Tyrod Taylor, and Tyrod Taylor came out and threw like two more touchdowns or whatever as kind of a fuck you to the franchise. Oh, it's kind of like how Brady left the Patriots and then immediately won the next Super Bowl. Yeah. <laughs> I don't like what the Raiders did. It, I, like, I get that there's a money side to it, but you need to be respectful to the guy that's dedicated his career to our team. Literally. The like, man who said... To keep your team afloat. Is yeah, it he took... He took he took a pay deduction to get Devonte here. Yeah. Like, if he wasn't dedicated to the team, he would have went somewhere else if it was about money. Like, I mean, he has a huge contract. He knows he's valuable. Right. They honestly should have just made Carr the fucking head coach. At this point, I mean, just put him as coordinator. He's yeah, a very I mean, smart man. The only yeah, thing I don't like about this coordinator. So, he had a bad game against the Steelers last week. Like, it was right. a bad game. Right. There's no arguing against that. But he's capable of pulling together really good games. That's it's, He's done it this season. The problem is, is we come out after... We've blown three 17-point leads this year. And then we blew a 13-point lead to the Rams in three minutes. Something's going on with our team to where we're not holding on to leads. The defense is collapsing last minute. And we come out in the second half and score three fucking points. Like the Jaguars game, we were up 17-0 against the Jaguars and we lost. Because we came out and scored three points after half. Devontae had a hundred Devontae Adams had 142 yards and two touchdowns in the first half against the Jags and then had zero catches, no touch, nothing in the second half. The uh, Raiders weak point has always been after halftime. Yeah. Yeah. That or did if, and that was have, even in the Gruden era. If they have points on the board era. before halftime, they do mm -hmm. dog shit after the half. <laughs> well, if we they were have different. nothing on the board before halftime. They usually go off and make it a pretty damn close game in the second half. I was going to say last year we had three games in the first or two games in the first three weeks. The opening against the Ravens, we were losing 14 0, and we came back and won that game. And then we had that game against the Dolphins two weeks later, we were losing 14 0, and we came back and won that game. Like, we looked like a well coached team out there because it was year four of, the, of Gruden. It looked like Derek Carr was comfortable. My biggest problem is, is if you watch a lot of Raiders football this year, Derek Carr doesn't audible out of anything. But if you go back to last year's tape, he was at the line directing people, calling shit and stuff like that. That's a coach's decision telling your quarterback, do not audible out of anything. Yep, no audible. Don't change the play. I'm calling the play.
And yeah, it's just, we've had a bad year and they're basically saying, oh, it's Carr's fault. And it's like, absolutely fucking not. It's like, Carr's been there for nine years. This coach has been there for this year. He's like, been here for 15 games. Obviously, the problem is your fucking coach. Like He's been here for 15 games and he's blown four double digit leads. And we almost yeah. had another crap. one against the Patriots. And it's Derek's fault. Yeah, yeah. and it's Derek's fault. Okay. Yeah, it's totally yeah, Derek's fault when, you know, it was mm-hmm. going fine and then you lost your head coach and then you put I, in a new head coach that is dumb. Like, after that Steelers game, I was mentally preparing myself towards the idea that they were going to draft somebody this year and that they were going to look at, you know, in like two or three years, we will move on from Carr if he's not like elevating us like he should. And that's fair. Uh, yeah. But outright benching him two games before the end of the season, why bring Devontae if you are not dedicated to Derek Carr? Actually, well, there's still Makes zero a sense. Chance. But put on another hat because I'm so pissed. But like, <laughs> uh, there we go. We didn't even oh, show off his camp for that one. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, I just put it on. Um, no, I'm very irritated. And like, because I'm 24 years old, and the only bright spot I've ever had watching the Raiders is whenever Derek Carr's on the field. Yeah, yeah no shit, dude. dude. I, yeah, you. Th- I am 35, and I did not like the Raiders until Derek Carr from Fresno State joined them. My yeah. dad was a diehard Raiders fan. I didn't pay any attention to football until Derek Carr joined the team. Can you guys name the three quarterbacks that started games for the Raiders the year before Derek Carr was playing on the team? Nope. Uh, I can't name uh, any quarterback, sir. It started with an M. Let's see if David can get one. Yes. Uh, no, I. You got it. Mix got something. It. What'd you say? Sorry. Was it uh, an MC last name? Like Mick. MC um, Lido. Yeah, his last name started with MC. Nab. No. Jonathan McNab. No. No. It is Mick. McMahon. No. no. <laughs> his name's hilarious. I love his last name. Damn. He won us a, a game in 2013 against the Texans because he played super fucking well before we went on a huge losing streak. I think I remember that game because my dad was like, finally. I always remember the good games, you know, because my dad bad. was happy. Oh, that guy played for the Eagles. <laughs> uh, well, it's not okay, McCaffrey, so-, so I'm at a loss. No. Okay. The three ga- guys that started a game that year. Was we started the year with Terrell Pryor. Pryor. He was the last guy that, <laughs> yeah. Terrell Pryor, he actually still holds the Raiders record. He holds the NFL record for longest rushing touchdown by a quarterback. Wow. 90, okay. 93 yards. Holy wow. shit. He did a fake handoff to the left and took it up the middle for 93 yards, and we ended up beating the Steelers that week. Wow. Was um, that? That's insane. 2013. Holy shit. So he holds the Raiders record for longest rushing touchdown because he beat Bo Jackson's 92 yard record, and he still holds wow. the quarterback record. Because you need a quarterback to run 94 plus yards to get a touchdown, and that would beat the record. That's Holy not crap. easy. Um, yeah. But he ended up what's getting the, hurt. What's the distance from zero to zero on the goal lines? Zero to zero. Uh, so it's a 99 yard touchdown if you run the full distance. Okay, yeah. It, so it, you can't. Basically, somebody would have to be basically right next to a safety in order to mm-hmm. outscore his touchdown. So basically. Yeah, it, you would have to be within five yards of a safety. The The longest touchdown, rushing touchdown of all time was, uh, I forget what his name was in the 80s, but some guy did it. And then Derrick Henry a few years ago had a 99-yard rushing touchdown. It's not easy. It's happened twice. So you can't get over a 99 even if you, like, say, Not as a it. quarterback. He, uh, no, at all, because the well, line of scrimmage has to be above the goal line, so it can't be a full 100 yards. Gotcha. It's only okay. 99. That makes sense. But um, yeah, so Terrell Pryor, all the NFL has <laughs> NFL has ninety nine yards, but a goal line eight one. Thank you. Um, <laughs> shut up. Okay. <laughs> the guy you were thinking over of over a ninety nine yard touchdown is via mm-hmm. punt, correct? Yes. Wait. Or fumble. You can get a one hundred nine yard kick return, and you can get a uh, one hundred nine yard pick six because you can count the distance of the end zone. Okay, that's when it counts from the end zone. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So if you catch it in the back wow. of the end zone. But offensively, you can only go 99 yards. Okay. Right. Because it would be a safety otherwise. Yep. That makes sense. Um, mm-hmm. The other two quarterbacks that played for us that season were the one that Dave was thinking of, Matt McGloin. McGloin. <laughs> McGloin. Yep. And then Matt McGloin ended up sitting out a game, and they put in Matt Flynn. Flynn. Tell me what those three guys did with their career, and I will tell you they didn't do anything. <laughs> Yeah. But here's the list of quarterbacks, every quarterback we've had since our Super Bowl year with Rich Gannon. 
We had Rick Myra, Marcus Tuya Sosopo, Kerry fucking Collins. God, that guy sucked. Yeah, um, bad. Andrew Walter, Aaron Brooks, Josh McCown, Dante Culpepper. I yeah, Dante Culpepper. Yeah, Culpepper? I, people forget that Dante Culpepper was on the Raiders. Uh, Jamarcus Russell. Jamarcus Russell. <laughs> Bruce Gradkowski. Charlie Fry. Fry. Jason Campbell. Um, Carson Palmer. And Kyle Bowler. Yeah, I remember Grankowski and I remember Palmer mm-hmm. as being the, the quarterback names. Like when you say yeah. them, I'm like, yeah, I, I remember those names coming up. Derek Carr started has started every game since Matt McGloin. Um a regular season game. He's only missed two games when he broke his leg. Matt McGloin was the backup and he came in and played one game. And then in twenty seventeen he fucking dislocated a disc in his back. And EJ Manuel stepped in for a game and he was terrible. When did yeah, pretty much. come on? Two thousand. Yeah. So I was a kicker for a long time. Yeah. Like yeah. the best quarterback we've had since Rich Gannon that wasn't Derek Carr was Jason Campbell. I was gonna say Campbell sounds like something I remember. What year was he? he twenty ten and twenty eleven. He was playing okay. good football. He he got hurt and Hugh Jackson panicked and traded all of our first round picks to the Bengals to grab Carson Palmer. Oh, wow. How did that and work out? Not we traded he, he signed with the Cardinals and then we we, we played Terrell Pryor. <laughs> <laughs> Owners have been such a problem for the Raiders for so fucking long. It's because I remember watching Jason Campbell, Bruce Gradkowski, Charlie Fry, Kyle Bowler fucking football, and it sucks. It's just, it's heartless. It, it felt like the team lost its identity, and it was just dog shit. Like, that was growing up, was watching bad Raiders football. Yeah. But I remember when, because in 2014, we drafted Derek Carr. Derek Carr wasn't even supposed to be the starter that season. It was supposed to be Matt Schaub. Mm-hmm. But in the final preseason game, Derek Carr went out and threw two touchdown passes and two consecutive drives against the Seahawks, and he looked lights out. And the coaches were like, okay, we, ha- we have to play Derek. He's clearly something. Right. We lose the first 10 games that year because we were just a dog shit team. Then we beat the Chiefs on Thursday Night Football, and everyone's like, hey, this Derek Carr kid, he looks good. Right. Hmm. I don't know. This guy's been dedicated to this franchise. You know, huge losing streaks, bad oh, teams. Yeah. He had to deal with the beginning of the Gruden era yep. because and Gruden's first Gruden. year was bad. He yeah. traded away Khalil Mack, got rid of our punter, trades Amari Cooper midseason. Yep. Like, there was a point where our number one wide receiver for Derek Carr was Marcel Aitman. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. If you look up Marcel Aitman, his most popular clip is how fucking awful he was at the NFL Combine. He just kept dropping passes, slipping. He, terrible. Wow. Thank you, Carson. Yeah, so. Yeah, I don't get how benching Derek Carr two games before the end of the season is a proper send-off for him. Yeah, yeah that's fucking He's trying cruel. to play football, man. He's trying to play some football. He literally has a chance to make the playoffs again maybe one more time with the Raiders or whatever. Yeah, and if we lose this week... Chance? <laughs> no, it's whatever. Yeah, if we lose this week or things don't go our way and we get bounced out of the playoffs, then I get sitting him for the last week and seeing what we you know, what we have in the backups and shit because it's like, we don't have a chance. There's no reason for you to go out there and get injured. But two games before with playoffs still on the table, that's what doesn't sit right with me. Yeah. Well, just because point. they're basically... Yeah, Sorry. it's they're just using him as a cop out, uh, basically saying we don't want you to get hurt, don't play. The whole point, and you probably won't be here next year. The playoffs is to get there, you know. What I think this is might- the worst part is that the team is already exhausted from all these hard fucking close losses, and mm-hmm. they're taking Carr, which has always been the powerhouse the of the team. Soul. He's the heart and soul of the He's- team. The unequivocated leader of the Raiders, and everybody understands that. Yes. When he is like out, even, we suck. It's just, that's yeah. how it is. Like I, I said, know. we've had two regular seasons without Derek Carr, or two regular season games without De- Derek Carr, and we fucking scored like a combined 19 points in those games. Wow. Yeah. Even the defense has started to play bad, because like when Carr's on the field, you know, teams, they go, yeah, we got a chance, let's go. You know, quarterbacks rallying them up and stuff like that. Then we had that awful playoff game with Connor Cook. Yeah. Like last year, that game, that playoff game against the Bengals was the first proper playoff game we had in a long time. 
because oh, we had our starters and our players, and Derek Carr was playing. Yeah, and he didn't does. have the best game, but we lost by a score, and it was fourth and goal. So we had a chance to win the game. We didn't get it done, but we were right there with the Bengals the whole time. It makes me wonder, though, if after Gruden uh, got axed, if Carr's attitude may have changed. Yeah, because it looked... Gruden... Carr was definitely Gruden's guy. Like, yeah. Gruden loved Carr because he was like, I can do what I want with him and he's going to execute it. Right. And you have to think the beginning of last season, we had Gruden, Carr, and we had Henry Ruggs, who was fucking lightning fast. And we were making shit work because he was like, all right, let's get, we know what Derek Carr's strengths are four years in. We know what Henry Ruggs has in his second year. Um, and then we line him up with Tyrell Williams. We got Zay Jones on the other side of the line. Darren Waller's coming back. And Hen Hunter Renfro is a good slot receiver. And then shit fell apart last year. Yep. We run it back with just about the same roster and we add Devontae Adams and we look way worse. Yeah. How does that and, fucking work too? I mean And you know and you know what sucks is because people in the offseason, like cause I, I go on the Raiders subreddit, everybody always makes fun of him because of how many times he fumbles the ball and loses it in a season. Well This is the first time in his career he didn't lose a single fumble in a season. Wow, he f he fixed his fumble problem, the nice. the problem that people kept fucking dogging on him for. He learned to fucking hold that bitch tight if he was going down. Pretty much, yeah. He rubbed, rubbed chalk on his gloves to make sure it didn't yeah. slip out. He did not turn over the ball by fumbling, so he 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 improved greatly on that. Even most of his interceptions this year have been balanced as to whether or not they're his fault. Sometimes those receivers are just fucking butterfingers. Three or four of them was bad reads. Uh, a couple more of them were just deep shots down the field that didn't work out. And then some of them, like on Saturday against the Steelers, it fucking bounced out of Foster Moreau's hands straight into the Steelers' arms. Yeah. That's and then he... Topic, but, oh, sorry. Yeah. Go ahead. Oh, that. and then his second pick was he threw it behind Renter, Hunter Renfro. That was on him. And then the last one was a third down at the end of the game after they gave up the lead. He just threw a fuck it, chuck it ball down the field and over through Renfro. Yeah. That so one it was, was a third bad. down. He's like, fuck it. Let's get it down there. And he threw it. He just put too much air on it. Right. Right. Yeah, not to too much off topic about that, but we were talking about it the other day. I I believe totally if a quarterback throws it and then the wide receiver like bobbles it and then it's intercepted, that's not the quarterback's fault. It yeah. shouldn't go on the quarterback record as an interception. The receiver shot it up in the air. Yeah, yeah. Like, that's not where he put the ball. Yeah, <laughs> the reason it's the quarterback's fault though is the quarterback is supposed to put that ball right in that man's chest. Well, that's yeah. what I mean. Is sometimes they do that. But the receiver will bobble it and then drop Pop the it ball. up in the air. And yeah. Then it becomes an interception, and that's completely outside the power of the quarterback. They can put it right between the numbers, mm -hmm. but if they mess it up and it's caught, it's on the quarterback. It's a quarterback's job to get the ball to the receiver, and it's the receiver's job to go. I'm getting the ball, or nobody's getting the ball. Yeah, yeah. 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 So I, they, they should honestly make it a thing of a, a receiver's interception if they bobble it and fuck up the pass. Because mm -hmm. sometimes quarterbacks don't need that stat. Yeah. There is a ref, uh, I forget who NBC Sports bought, but they bought like a football database company and, and they have a adjustment where they take away interceptions that weren't the quarterback's fault. That's cool. Like bounce out of their hands, uh, yeah. quarterback, you know, throwing the ball, it gets tipped and it just thro gets thrown up straight up like in the air. Throwing their hand gets hit or something. Yeah. Cause it's like, they didn't, I mean, they were throwing the ball, but they were like, it's not like they were going here. Fuck it. They weren't right. outside force yeah. I have a, I have a question uh, somewhat about that. What constitutes as pass interference then? If the Love. ball's in the air, um, the receiver and the defender have as much right to the ball as anybody else on the field. So they both have rights to the ball. If a receiver's running downfield and he's looking at the ball trying to catch it, if the defender isn't looking at the ball or like tackles the receiver or pushes him out of the way, they can deem that as the defender wasn't playing the ball and that's pass interference because, you know, the receiver was try trying to get the ball and the defender wasn't. And, and made a receiver, play that pushed the receiver out of the way. And if the receiver is um, obstructing mm -hmm. the defender from being able to get the ball in any way, then that's offensive pass interference. Yeah, it's basically uh, like a very tedious game of the defender and the receiver have to be as close to each other as they can without like obstructing each other's movements, and they have to be focusing at the ball at the same time. Yeah, mm -hmm. because all, uh, before the ball's even thrown, you could the, the there could be offensive pass interference if they're rushing out, and then the receiver just pushes the guy out of the way and then runs to the side, or absolutely. They, 
or if the receiver's trying to run a route and then the defender pushes him out of the route, that would be offensive pass interference, even though the ball isn't in the air yet. They can't obstruct each other in the way that they're running. They just have to stay on each other, basically. The, the really? defender basically That's has weird. to follow the route that the uh, receiver is running. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. So, so that's why defensive play calling is such a big deal because defensive play call, you're basically calling the inverse of what the offense is running. Like in in the op, optimal optimal, like they call this play, you call the counter to that play, and so your defenders are all running the same routes as the offense, along with your guys trying to get the quarterback. That's great. That's weird how that works. Yeah. So. Yeah, not to turn this into football cast, but yeah, it's it's very upsetting what the Raiders are doing with Derek Derek Carr. Yeah, it's heartbreaking. And it's because and it's because our head coach, like, my problem was is if you weren't dedicated to Derek Carr before the season, you shouldn't be the coach because Derek Carr signed a contract, got Devontae on the team, and said, you know, let's make it work. Yeah. And Josh McDaniels was brought in to take. He even said it himself. He said, "I was brought in. We're taking the Raiders to the next level." We're six and nine, and we're probably going to get smacked in these last two games, Jeez. blowing all these fourteen point leads, seventeen point leads, six and yeah, nine. A bit morale, Unless like, the Raiders like actually little... listen to their fucking fan base for once, and they're like, mm-hmm. "Oh, we pissed a lot of people off." Maybe the problem is, hard. is the head coach that we hired has a bad track record as a head coach. So when we hired him, it was like a head scratching move. Yep. Because he failed yep. as the Broncos head coach like ten years ago, and then he um you know, got hired by the Indianapolis Colts to coach the Colts, came out for the introductory press conference, said he was excited, and he resigned later that day and said, I'm going back to New England. Totally fleeced the fucking Colts franchise. Yep. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, and then Mark Davis looks at him and goes, he's perfect. Look at where we're at. Give him a million (laughs) dollars. My dad spent my entire childhood bitching about Al Davis, and his son is doing the same shit. Al Davis got bad in his later years because he pretty much sold the soul of the team yep. for a Super Bowl, and it didn't work because he got mad at Gruden, traded him to the Bucks, then we lose to Gruden in the Super Bowl, yep. and then we were bad for 10 years until his death. Wow. And now his son is making boneheaded decisions just like his dad was. Yep. Got him. He yeah, until the, the Raiders are out of the hands of the Davis family, I think we're going to have a problem. We need a general manager that has more input than the owner does. And as long as Mark Davis has his hands in the team, it, that won't happen. We don't have a GM, uh, though, do we? He hired... We do, Dave Ziegler. So what happened was is we used to we had Mike Mayock as a general manager when Gruden was in town. Right. And everybody knew that Gruden made a lot of decisions on the team. And that's why Mark Davis hired him was because he was like, I'm letting Mark Davis have all the input. Or not Mark Davis. I'm having John Gruden make all the input, input so that I don't have to watch. Right. Yeah. Because they've had a good relationship. And it feels like with the new guys that they have, Dave Ziegler's general manager and Josh McDaniels as head coach, it feels like Mark Davis is now overseeing everything because he doesn't have Gruden here. Yep. I don't know. Mm. Shitty, shitty. What if uh, the Cobras purchase the Raiders? Yeah, let's get crowdfunding going. Yeah. Yeah, yeah like, let's you go know, get a whole. What what is the cost? Three, let's see here. Um, five bucks. Three, the Raiders five bucks. are evaluated at five and a half million. I think. The billion. Raiders. Right. Billion. Uh, five point one billion dollars. Moving oh. to Vegas, I think, increased the value of the Raiders threefold. Really? Oh, stadium. Mm-hmm. Went two between this, and then we can buy the Raiders. Yep. Yeah. Subscribe to our Patreon. Help us buy the Raiders. Go fund. Bring me. back Derek Carr. By 2026, we'll have the Raiders. Buy the Raiders. If we sign Tom Brady, we're going to have a fucking discussion. The oh. Elon Musk just needs to buy the Raiders. I what mean, if we bring... He sank Twitter. I mean, he he can either raise fucking Raiders or sink them into the ground worse. Mm-hmm. Well, and, what, what if we honestly, bring... we can't get much lower than we are already. So Yeah, we're at a really low point. What if we bring like, Peyton Manning back from the dead? I'm back from the dead. Back from, back the, from the dead. dead. <laughs> what? This guy. No, what happened? He ain't dead. Yet. What we do is we have to fuse the Manning brothers together to create the ultimate Manning. Joe Manning? <laughs> no, no, we would just create a clone from both of their DNA. Elisha Peyton Manning, let's go. Eli wasn't Eli that good. Manning. He has two rings. Uh, yeah, he, yeah, he, he got two rings. Him. And, and, and by proxy, if we team. combine... Wait, wait. We need to take...
both of the Mannings and Tom Brady their DNA and mix it all together into one uh, stupid. It's kind of expired his DNA by now. And so, and so we can uh, break the quarterback record with the you can get the ninety nine yards. We mix them with Jerry Rice. I Boom. figured it out. Eli Manning oh is Jimmy Garoppolo, but with Super Bowl rings. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Yeah. They're both sexy as hell. That hurt. <laughs> um, that's about it. Yeah. There you yeah, go. They're just, they're just sexy. <laughs> that's where it ends. Yeah. Okay. Fucking uh, so let's move from football talk. But yeah, last comments is we stand with Derek Carr. I'm going to buy his fucking UFOs. Yeah, uh, I'll take a kneel. His recovery with, slides. I'll take a kneel for Derek Carr. Go He's got Niners. an awesome music video. Yeah, no, no, go Niners, but I hope we video? lose, but I'm not going to say go Niners. Derek Carr, after his MB- MVP caliber season, uh, did a music video for a credit union where he's like oh, hiding no. in the bushes, bushes and he's got like a jean jacket on. He's like <laughs> at low rates. Finance a house at good rates. It's so what? cheesy. It's, it's <laughs> awesome. I love it. Fucking A. That was pretty funny. I love all the commercials he's, he's been doing that I've been seeing here. They're fucking hilarious. He's sponsored by a, a like a slides company. It's uh-huh. supposed to be like um, shoes that help you recover from like walking oh, all day and stuff like that. Yeah, the UFOs. Yeah, he's got an UFOs sponsorship. I didn't even know what an UFO, UFO. was until Derek Carr started sponsoring them. <laughs> now I want to get one. Yeah, they're, slides. they're expensive. They're very expensive. They're very oh, expensive. I've heard they're them. comfortable though. They are very comfortable. I've seen them at Shields. I didn't put them on because I would have had to put my fucking get my toes out. <laughs> make everybody sort of regret me coming in that day. How do you spell that? Is it O O F O S? O O X. Yep. Ufos. This pair is $70. No, yeah. $60. And so they're just really shoe. comfy slippers. Is that what they are? Yeah. And they're supposed to be built for like support for your legs and shit. Oh, my cool. lumbar. Yeah. And that Get that nice. cushion. Get that nice cushion. <laughs> Get that cushion in there. <clears throat> yeah. What, what, what if I got you? What if I got you guys? Uh, corn like, what's it called? Like corn covered, like how how your your Xbox looks like on like UFOs and give them to you guys. Hell yeah, yeah. Eh. It's fucking I, funny. I don't yeah. wear slides or sandals. You, I'll make you wear slides, and or sandals. I I don't. <laughs> I, I have not. a suntan of my sandals. You're make. I'll give you sandals. I said, bought me Raiders you have Crocs a for my Crocs birthday. Suntan. I don't wear Crocs. You just. You, how dare you assume I wear Crocs? What you wear fuck? Crocs. No. He's got I his flippers on, dude. Wearing them. So yeah, dude. Look. Boom. Yeah. Those all those fucking Crocs to you. He's got his no. flop right flips now, on, bro. Right now, oh. maybe. I never oh. wear Crocs. You could ask anyone. I never wear Crocs. You wore Crocs yeah. when we were camping. I was borrowing them because I didn't have my flip flops because they ripped. You were still wearing Crocs. Out of necessity, not as pleasure. I had a worse time. My feet were wet. I've, I was I've farting everywhere I was walking. Worn a pair of Crocs. One second. What's wrong with Crocs? I'll That's wear Crocs. Weird. Gross. I don't. I don't need them. So wear flip flops. No, I'm. I'm I can't more, stand something between my fucking toes. Well, you gotta have like the cotton ones because if you get like the plastic ones, it like rips your fucking There's, toe apart. It's still something between your toes, like and they all fall apart. Feels, yeah, I my feet sweat. All right, what do you want from me? I like the open There's air on my socks. feet. You gotta feel the fucking and cold socks, air on the hogs. Yeah, socks and better shoes. <laughs> no, okay. I wanna wear my sandals. Get some ufos. I'm going to get some UFOs. <laughs> I'm not getting a fucking UFOs. I, I'm wearing shorts in this weather right now. I am gonna, wearing shorts in this weather right now. I will now. buy a pair of and UFOs and I'll let you know. you have on your lap. Yeah, I'm cold. Come on. Point. Well, yeah, valid. What's your point? Yeah, yeah valid. <laughs> um, I, didn't say I, I, I said I don't get cold. I said I wear shorts in this weather. We call this episode We Stand with pants. Derek Carr and his UFOs. Nah, fuck pants. I don't need pants. Bye. We Stand <laughs> Derek with Derek Carr and his UFOs. Yeah, Derek, Derek Carr wears UFOs. Um, on the podcast. But yeah. Derek's UFOs game. We need to get sponsored by UFOs. Because yeah, I love UFOs saying UFOs. Yeah, Derek <laughs> Carr. How are they going to get us? We put you in the I, title. I it costs way more. For, for a sponsorship from UFOs. Absolutely. If UFOs makes a sandal, I'll, I'll be sponsored. Like I wear size fun. 11 they, and a half. Make they it happen. Sandals, slides, and shoes. Fair point. All right. I have 12. I'm a size 12. <laughs> Sign me up. I, I, would, I would wear their shoes. I wear a size 11. <laughs> All right. 
Oh, we're yeah. getting fanatics out there. <laughs> we're oh, getting our shoe sizes size. out there. Yeah, David, your, what's your shoe size? Come on. Uh, thirteen. Kinky. Kinky. Thank you. Cyrus is like ten. <laughs> eleven and a half. Eleven and a half. Yeah. I. It depends on what shoe I'm wearing. If it's eleven or eleven and a half, I just say eleven. Uh, I had to buy boots that were size eleven, and they are way too small. But yeah. I made them work. Stretch the shit out of them. Boots They're and comfy stuff. Now, though. My my work boots, I have to wear a 14 because of how wide my foot is. Otherwise, if if my foot weren't so wide, I'd be wearing a 12. But You need to buy wides. They're not wide wides. enough. If they don't have wides. Really? They're yeah. not wide enough. My pinky knuckle sticks out about an inch on my fucking foot. It's weird. I got odd-shaped foot. Man, this, this episode's for... Uh, get hit with the foot fetish, people, eh? Yeah, yeah, I'm you a canoe rower, dude. My feet are Brandon's fucking only big. Fans. Oh, Brandon open sound pad. <laughs> oh, no. Uh-oh. We're in it now. Uh, uh, cover, Brandon. <laughs> Steam gave you away, buddy. So, um, year's coming to a close. What's your guys' favorite things of the year? Like music, games, TV shows, movies? Oh, let's see. Let's, see. let's recap. Quit what was our job. favorite stuff? That's Hell, yeah. my favorite part of the year. <laughs> Fucking a. Uh, a win. I, I, I try to remember shit that happened, but it's just, it's, it's. I don't even. I don't even fucking remember this year, man. <laughs> Fuck! What movies came out this year? Bullet Train. Uh, I didn't get to see that one <laughs> on HBO Max, though. I gotta watch it. Watch it. Fucking yeah. watch it. It's great. Big Mouth season six. Nobody snakes. finally. The that nobody's good fucking good. I like that one. That's that one with uh, Sal Goodman. I watched the Joker, uh, or I watched Joker again last Joker. night. Yeah, Batman new, was spectacular. The new Batman movie was good. I, it was, I it was still, good. I still have not caught that one. You got to check it out. I will. Got to check it out. I think it's on HBO Max. It is. I just haven't yeah, gotten it, around it, to it, watching. It is. It is really good. You, I was when, surprised when was, how good it was. When that one was coming out, everyone was like worried about Robert Pattinson and how do you portray Batman. I was like, well, he's done other things other than Twilight. He's you know? not a bad Batman, surprisingly. Yeah. So I've talked about just... it, but The Lighthouse is a spectacular movie with Robert Pattinson. Yeah, yeah. And then he was in uh, The Devil All the Time, which was like a Netflix movie like two years ago with Tom Holland. That was a good movie because he played like a pastor. Okay. And now it, the, it was the, spectacular. The chick from Twilight is exactly the same kind of actress that she was in Twilight and everything else I've seen her I'm in. Yeah, I know she <laughs> now. I mean, just, just don't get me. Just don't, don't she understand. was in Maze Runner. Mm-hmm. She was? <laughs> yes. Yeah. She's the main chick in Maze Runner, and she is the flattest, most boring thing in the whole movie. Uh, oh, no, a the monster board. is coming for me. Uh, oh, no. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Hell, yeah. No, that's um, great. It was really good. Sorry. I like making The A24 24 movie, I think it's, what is it called? It's like everywhere, everything, all at once. That movie oh, was spectacular. I, I mm. think it's, yeah, but I know of that one. Yeah. That movie is incredible. Did it has see Wakanda forever? No, I haven't. No, no. I want to see that one. I've heard good Which things. Which is, I, I heard it's a, it's a shame though, because Black Panther was good, so I want, definitely want to check this one out. I asked Tyson because he went and saw it, and I don't know if this is a spoiler or not. I was like, is Chadwick in it? No, <gasps> no. Mm-mm. They would. He wouldn't. It's a completely have... different movie. He, um. He went on record as saying before he died, I think, that he didn't do anything for the second Black Panther. He knew mm-hmm. there was going to be a second one, but he didn't want to do any... Like, he didn't want to be in it. Yeah. Jeez. And everyone always thought, oh, well, he's going to have a role in it, right? Oh. No, the movie opens with his funeral. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, Tyrese! Come on! Sorry, dude. Sorry, spoil the first fucking three minutes. My bad. <laughs> Gosh. How am I gonna yeah, watch this two-hour movie now? God, I yeah. can't. I can't. I can't watch it now. You know how Batman starts out, dude. He fucking. You find out that His Bruce Wayne die. is Batman, and it's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Stop. Sorry, D. Oh man. Oh, Peter Parker is Spider-Man. Ah, oh, Goldie. And Brady just got back. Oh my god. Dude. Fuck, back. It's fine. dude. <laughs> That's fine. Cold and Sarge just spoiling every movie ever, dude. Which Tom movie? Dies in Gears 3. Now, dude! Are you, yeah, are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> Did you know that Yuri knows Makarov? 
Yuri knows Makarov, <laughs> that son of a bitch. <laughs> Yuri knows Makarov. <laughs> <laughs> yep, there he goes again. Yep. Um, oh, he's going to come back. And I'm going to spoil it again. Spoiler alert for the fifth uh, Harry Potter book coming up here in just a moment. <laughs> oh, no. Snape kills Dumbledore. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. That's fucking oh my god. Audio listeners, you're once again missing out. So let's, let's wait until Brandon comes back. Ready? He keeps leaving they can, join he, the they can hear the Discord join yeah. and leave notification. Ready? I don't think so, because I don't have that playing. Okay. What the fuck is that? I didn't that? come in as clear as you wanted it to, but yeah. Yeah, yeah oh. that, that sounded like crap. Wow. <laughs> Probably because yeah. it was too loud. That's all right. Yeah. Were you playing uh, what, it through a speaker instead of what, uh, through the audio yeah, channels? That was, that was Leia and Luke are brother-sister. So the dynamic of uh, Shut Han Solo up. and Leia <laughs> makes makes more sense. Yeah. Uh, what what, what other... There. Other new movies came out. Harry, besides Harry Potter movies. and Ooh. Star Wars are the same story. Uh, saw... uh, Top Gun. Top Gun was actually really good. Yeah, I Maverick. It was called I don't know if you Tom watched. Tom yeah. Cruise Very actually good. flies the plane in that movie. Yes. He is actually flying a fucking F-14. That's nuts. That's dope as fuck. I actually liked Bullet Train. I don't know if anybody saw that. That it's one just was good action. good. It's okay. Uh, Minions Rise of Gru. Oh good my god, one. I need to fucking see that. I, heard I, know, funny, so. I, know, I know we meme Minions, and it's a joke, but all of the Despicable Me movies are terrific. Yeah. E- even the third one, that was kind of forgettable. It was still fun to watch. I've seen one and two. I didn't like the second one. The first one was okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Morbius? We forgot about my, uh, Dr. Michael Morbius. I didn't, I didn't it's see Morbin time. I didn't. I did see a mu- movie review. You didn't well, watch I saw it? the review. I didn't see the yeah, movie. Yeah, okay. That's all you got to know. All right. Fair enough. How was the movie, though, actually? I, I haven't seen it. it. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> I made a review on <laughs> it. You didn't watch it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's very accurate from what uh, I understand. Scorn I watched was fun. Multiverse of Madness? Scorn was fun. Out. Yeah, Multiverse of Madness. Madness was great. Yeah. Great movie. <laughs> You guys watch the animated one, The Bad Guys? No, but that's made by the same. That's a Pixar one, right? No, it's a. Um, let me look up the studio, but it was exclusive to I think like Paramount or something, and then I think it hit Netflix recently. They're doing a second uh, Spider-Man into the multiverse. Oh, that's right. That trailer dropped. Really? Yeah, that looks it amazing. is good. It looks great. It looks nuts. For sure. That the Bad Guys is fun. it's a DreamWorks movie published by Universal. Oh, DreamWorks. Okay. Sorry, mm-hmm. Trick. Trickman. Dude, when's um, the next Trick? F- the new Puss in Boots movie just came out. Sure. <laughs> yes. I don't think anybody's seen that, but... Uh, it looks I good. Need Puss was, in Boots. He was on Hot Ones. They had Puss in Boots on Hot Ones. It was pretty, pretty funny. Cat. Yeah, the cat. Why Voiced by do? Antonio Banderas. Oh, he was on Hot Ones? Yeah. yeah. Oh. They, they, had, they had the cat on Hot Ones. Nice. Incredible. The animated cat. Um, just sitting on the other side, Sean just yep. licking up milk. We, we can forget about Uncharted. Who cares? You probably get leche. Uncharted? That came out, what, what, which one came out this year? <sighs> the movie. The movie oh, with yeah. Tom Holland. The terrible no. movie. Terrible movie. I didn't see it. I liked the oh. Uncharted series. I didn't see Tom Holland's version of it. The only like decent video game movie that I've seen so far is Ready Player One, and that was Ready... that. And that one was good. Ready Player One is based on a book. Yes. Yeah. You see, you, there you go. Well, I'm saying like a video game ass movie, essentially. And, and mm-hmm. Ready Player One is one of the few times where the movie is better than the book. Yeah, I, it was fucking cool. All the well, pop talking. culture shit it would do. Mind. That wouldn't. Yeah. Uh, video Not games. A... What were we playing this year? Game, but uh, a movie that I've seen. Just to touch on that one little thing there, mm. I saw a movie recently. On, it's on Netflix called uh, "All Quiet in the Western Front," and it's a uh, a German movie about uh, World War One. And I'm reading up mm-hmm. on it right now, and apparently, it's based off of a book. All Quiet oh. on the Western Front was a book I read in middle school. That was a really deep book. 
Yeah, th- there's a movie of it now on Netflix, and it's honestly really, really good. Yeah, I watched it, I watched half of it in the English dub, and then switched it to German. Was just watching the subtitles because it was easier than reading their lips. Yeah, because everything looked weird, and there was like a couple actors that had like deep Scottish accents on the <laughs> German because <laughs> they were doing the American lines. Right, but it was it was a really really good World War One movie. The other good gaming yeah, the, movie the book was, was fucking... great. Oh, that was a book too. Yeah, it, it's based off a book. A, oh wow, old German book. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, I was just gonna bring First up Free Guy movies. with fucking Ryan Reynolds. The Free other gaming Guy is a movie. Great movie. Yeah. Granted, it's not. It's loosely based on GTA, but it's not actually based on a actual existing video game. Of yeah, course, but movie, Sonic good... Two came out this year, and that was a great movie. Sonic Two was great. Yeah. I liked that one. Knuckles. What, what can I say? Knuckles. Knuckles. Detective Pikachu. Oh, that was that this year? That, that was year? last year, but I haven't seen that one still. That was 2019. Uh, but Detective wow. Pikachu is a really good wow. game, like game based mm-hmm. movie. What the fuck? <laughs> Cyrus I came like... back with a mask and a top hat. I liked the Resident Evil movies. <laughs> My lady. I mean, like the. What show was it? I think it was Rev- Revolution or something? Re- something like that? I liked, uh, Re- Re- I liked the Resident Evil movies up until... uh The one right after Extinction. Which was the one that had Wesker in it. Oh, okay, okay. And with Chris and Jill fighting him, right? And that yep. one slow motion yep. scene? And yeah, it yeah. had Letty from Fast and the Furious come back from the dead. Yeah, she like fucking uh, a movie. She's a clone. Yeah. Resident thing, Evil. Yeah. Resident Evil. That's hey, uh, Village funny. came out this year, right? Last year. Last year, oh, motherfucker. See, <laughs> I don't remember anything for this fucking year. Ragnarok came out this year. <laughs> I don't have a PlayStation. I know God of War was great. Everything's about to fall <laughs> off my head. Do it. Shoot. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't. Everything okay. stayed on your head. Okay, we got. I can't breathe. <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> okay, we're descending into chaos. We should. Yeah, give out. me a moment. <laughs> Wrap it up. <laughs> happy New Year. Uh, it's a uh, happy New Year. Uh, I'll keep the mask on. Yeah, it's very festive. So the point of the mask is just the mask is steel. Oh, and Oscar, give it a couple of months, and I'm sure Ragnarok will be on Steam. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna pick that one up. Miles Morales like getting... is on Steam. Hmm. I might get that too. I'm. I'm. A, I, I'm. I was thinking about getting God of War on Steam, but I already played it, and I was like, I don't need to go back and do everything. I, I, I still have it. my physical disc for God of War. Does it work on the PS5? If it's a PS4 yeah. game, nice. How are you liking the PS5 right now? I like it. Yeah? Oh, you're playing uh, Horizon Zero Dawn, right? I beat Zero Dawn. I'm, I just started playing uh, Forbidden World. West. Nice. Yep. What yeah, are I'm they like doing? A couple hours into Forbidden oh World. Oh my Look god. <laughs> David, you do the breathe in like really hard. Can you guys hear me? Yes. 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 Breathe, breathe <laughs> yeah. in very hard. Yeah, I, I don't have much options. It's pretty hot in here. <laughs> Are you the horse from Horsin' Around? Yeah. That's Bojack <laughs> Horseman's cousin. <laughs> he's alive and well. He's running a big-ass unicorn. Oh, he's a unicorn. Yeah. Uh, oh, mask. he's a unicorn. a unicorn. Oh, why is it blending in? Because All right, well, white. is everybody yeah. good to wrap up? Yeah, yeah, I think we're good. Yeah, Cy- okay. Cyrus is just fucking customizing his multiplayer character over there. Holy I'm shit. I'm just an character. <laughs> Alright. Well, thank you all Save for coming on. Uh, you guys know where to catch us. We got a link tree down below. We got a SoundCloud, too. Cyrus, the SoundCloud's popping off. Oh, fuck. I can't get the goggles on. Yeah, well, the SoundCloud's doing very well. We've got eight listens in the last week, so somebody's listening. Hell yeah. Thank you. We appreciate you. Keep and listening to the Cobras. Find us everywhere. Streaming more often. 
I'm trying to stream every day of the week if I can, but there you go. Catch I'm cold stream every once in a while. Plays the Warzone. He's yeah, gotten some yeah. couple dubs. Oh, there we go. We got that's three in the row. The three in a row the other day. Oh. Yeah, pretty good. Yeah, that's fucking. That's solid. buttermilk cow sauce, aka ranch. What's the weirdest thing you guys have in your desk? Uh, uh. Oh, you guys are done. I already win. I have, I have U.S. postage. First thing I play George. I play Swords of Revealing Light. I've got a, a crimp blade torch. It's not easy. Oh, For you know three what? turns, you guys can't do anything. The Home Against. Depot guitar pick. It's too bright. <laughs> um, I have a see. can of Lemon Pledge. Got a torch. Hmm. I really wish I weren't here right now, Button. <laughs> Notice the I really wish I weren't here right now, Button. What is the strangest thing I have? An actual knife. USB <laughs> microscope? My gnome. A what? Oh, my mic. A, U a USB microscope? Oh, All right. Man, it's not really off. a microscope. It's more for like videographing ah, like ah. points up close, but they uh, call it a microscope. A Casio okay. GX9750 G2. <laughs> All your graphing calculator needs. Hey, sorry, show calculator. me an equation real quick on there. Give me a give me a loop de loop right here. No. Uh, well, <laughs> All right. Uh, the batteries are dead. Oh, fair enough. Dungeons and Dragons. I have no idea what it is. What is that? I just said I have no idea what it is. I thought it. it was a bullet casing at first, but it's strange. Eat I got it. my social security card, so this game isn't fun anymore. I, I know what that <laughs> is. I just can't remember offhand. There's it's, like a hole that goes down the middle, and then there's two on the sides there. The ones on the sides are to put a pin through to hold whatever goes in the middle of it in place. Kind of work. Is it threaded really? on the inside of the neck? Need to shine a light in it. I really can't see shit out of this thing. <laughs> I don't know where my mouse is. Yeah, uh, it hey, looks like everybody. it might have been at one point. This is how if, we're. It, if it's, this is how we're ending the year. If it's you know what threaded, it, it might be a tap or something. It might be a pin or just something that held together something on the up top of my work, and we've had a couple times where a steel box has poked through the thing and then made shit go flying, so that might just... Brandon, hold it up to your camera can. again, and we'll ask YouTube to tell us what it is. People of YouTube, tell us what this thing is. Yeah, welcome to the bonus part of the Cobras podcast. Uh, we're past That's the it. end. This is just the bonus. Bonus. You know. It's, uh, it's possible bonus and credit in this... It's possibly threaded in the center, or it could be smooth bore with a hole in the side. What the fuck is it? Motherfuck, it's smooth bore. Hey, smooth bore. See what I mean? It looks like it might have been at one point. Oh, you know what it looks like? A uh, uh, charge for a small rocket. Yeah, but it has two right, holes, take off the holes on the glasses. side. You don't need sunglasses inside. Uh, but these make me look and cool. It's, it's made of metal. <laughs> Yeah, and it's metal. Uh, you look, do look pretty cool like that. You guys can see me it's in your pretty, reflection. Pretty heavy too. I'm just holding a radioactive isotope. No big deal. It happens. Um, Probably held uranium at some point. Yeah, I th I think the toothpicks or the microscope thing are probably the weirdest thing on my desk, or the lemon pledge. Oh, here I got a box of safety pins. Trap hole. Ah! <laughs> I've got an Ike amiibo. Do I have my blue eyes here? White dragon? Yeah. I have three of them somewhere around everything. I just don't know where they are. I think I actually have four. Super Nintendo Mini? Ooh. That's kind of cool. Mini. Hey, there it's... Hey. <laughs> or. Just, or... Doing, just doing research. Or... Research? Oh my fucking god, Cyrus. NES Mini? <laughs> NES Mini? <laughs> Can't tell what's in the reflection. It's a pair of dirty feet. It's feet. <laughs> <laughs> Just my research. Uh, yeah. You're welcome. That goes in the homework folder, right? <laughs> the Cabra's profile picture folder. Uh oh. Ancient Turtle Beach X 42s. Ooh. I used to have a pair of those. I win. Carl's Dangerous playing Daisy. 
I win. Who's what? Carlos How? Danger? Why do you have him added two? That's Ian Higgins. That's who that is. I'm Carlos Danger X. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's Carlos Danger. Sorry, yeah. right, the your OG. I don't know. I'm trying to look for sure some random a car crash. That's I right outside, and then I heard a bang. It's blurring Calvin Johnson. <laughs> it's a bit fucking out there. Dark magician. Oh, I don't want to do that. See that? See them? That's no them's. life I have. Surf's up on the Xbox 360. Come on. They're all limited. Wait, that's the actual game. game? Yeah. Yeah. Why else would I have it? Fair Maybe enough. if I turn the light on low. Uh, uh, he's naked on there, so. Oh, oh sensor. There he is. It's because it's reflective. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, he's the back. How is that rated E10? It's rated M, man. You murder people on those words. E10 Where's... and plus. Uh, it's rated, rated E10 and e plus e for crude humor and language. Dude, there was like barbecue oh. sauce on that. Let's, let's put that back. Lick it. Lick oh. Absolutely not. <laughs> Look at well, real good. good. Bum, I, mean, bum, 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 I have a bum, copy of Malibu's bum, Most Wanted uh, printed out on a piece of printer paper. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen Malibu's Most Wanted. Fucking hilarious. Is that one of those two sided discs? Yeah. Where it's got the <laughs> widescreen and the regular screen? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's fucking funny. Wait, CD's had that? Time, yeah, the first time I ever saw Spaceballs was on a two sided DVD like that. One side's full side, uh, full screen, the other is widescreen. It was when uh, widescreen TVs are starting to become a thing, so they needed to provide an option for people. The only reason you can't write on the two sides of a blank DVD is because they put that screen printing on the top of it. Hmm. Yeah. Interesting. So if it doesn't have it, then I'll tell you it has the full screen yep. or the widescreen on the thing. Interesting. And and typically with those two sided discs like that, they actually sandwich the um the piece of foil in between the two halves of plastic. Science. Bitch. Scratching the bottom Science. of a CD isn't actually what ruins it. Sometimes. Oh, yeah, Scratching the top of it is what ruins the top of it. Aristotle was a well, bitch. What ruins it permanently? I mean, Aristotle was a bitch. It was like little boys. Shibadawing. He's Greek. That's not true. Oh, we didn't even discuss that. Andrew oh, yeah. Tate's punk ass. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. He doesn't this is the bonus the episode. Night. Yeah. Yeah. Andrew that... Tate got arrested. Dubs for everyone. Dubs yeah, for everyone. Andrew Tate got arrested for human trafficking because he tweeted back to fucking Greta Thunberg a picture with a fucking pizza box in it. He's what an idiot. Guy. That's what a Jerry's pizza fucking man. idiot. Smart man. No. Okay, Shout out so to Jerry's Pizza. He's top G. Oh, okay. He's top G. What do you mean? He's top G. What? He's top G. He's, quote, he's quoting Andrew Tate. Top G? Yeah. He's, he's top G because his followers are clear bottoms. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> also, they all his bottom bitches. That's you know, to think funny. with for a man who doesn't wear headphones, he would have heard the police coming in. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck happened there? 33 Bugattis and yeah. he couldn't even run from the police. <laughs> <laughs> I got two Bugattis. I got 33 yeah. Bugattis. Wow, what are you doing? Jail sentence, fucker. You have a family that you love and you care for? Pussy. I have 30 God. years in prison, moron. Yeah, Cause come I on. I traffic human beings because I'm a piece of shit. I had to run off to Romania because I'm scared of what's going to happen in the States. And now you're getting extradited <laughs> to the States. Yeah, that's fucked. God, he fucked that guy. <coughs> Honestly. But now, now that he's gone, there's going to be some other fuckhead that's going to come up and be do, try to do the same shit. Oh, I'll oh. do it. Okay, I'll take millions of dollars from people. Okay. Yeah, all right, go ahead, Thomas. All right. What do you okay, offer? What right. are you going to teach them? How are they going to? Yeah. How are they going to benefit from this? This is your first class right here. Mm -hmm. How to say whatever they want, whatever they want. Okay. okay. Lesson number one: just just say it. That'd oh. be a hundred dollars. All right. <laughs> That'd be a hundred dollars. Nematodes are people too. Very valid. Actually, they're Love not. It. Shut up. <laughs> uh, see, he's taking step one. That was lesson one. You're invalid. And you're backwards. Thank you. 
Backwards compatible. Wow, well, look at that. Well, I already feel better about myself but now that there's Cyrus's classes. You're an inverse hypotenuse. I don't like the way you're looking at me. I don't like the way you smell. You can't Touché. smell me. 